Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, I wanna show you how to prepare for your next job interview. And in particular, your next star-based interview. Star, for those of you that aren't familiar with it, is a specific style of behavioral interview that revolves around four things, the situation, the task, the action, and the result. I'm gonna show you how to prepare ChatGPT to act as an interviewer to grade your response, to even go ahead and record your audio. So if it asks you a question, you can practice recording your audio, transcribing it, and then copying it back into ChatGPT, and then getting a grade on it to help you improve. And then it will continue to ask you questions as you ask for them. So this is a crazy good way to prepare for your interview. And uh, yeah, let me start you off here. So I've gone ahead and done it, but we're gonna start and start a new chat and then I'm just gonna copy in these prompts. There's only a couple of prompts and then I'm gonna explain them to you and you'll see how this works. So the first one is you wanna copy this in or just put this in. Explain the start interview method to me in detail. The reason why you ask this question is simple. You want to prepare ChatGPT for the type of questions and the type of prompts that you're going to be asking it. So here it goes. It's gonna now give you a response. The STAR method is a technique used to answer behavioral interview questions in a structured and effective way. And this is a great answer. Situation, and here's an example. Task, example. Action, example. Result, example. Okay, so ChatGPT now knows what we're up to. The next part of the prompt is I'll grab this here and then I'm gonna copy and paste this in and then I will explain it to you as we go here. So let's go back to the new prompt here, copying and pasting, and then here it is, great. I am applying for a store manager position at the Home Depot. Now, this is just an example for you or whatever you're up to, you wanna put in the specific position and if it makes sense, the company that you're applying for. The next step is you go, please provide me with an example star interview question one at a time. I will then type in my response. Once I've submitted my response, please grade my answer. Can you do that for me? Hit enter and watch. It's gonna go, heck yeah, I can do that for you. And then it will ask you the first question. And here it is. Can you describe a time when you had to lead a team through a difficult change or transition? Okay, so it is on its way. Now, it's only asked me one question because of the way we set the prompts up. Now I'm gonna show you another free tool that's really cool. It's optional, but I highly recommend it because this is a, this will just get you a little bit better prepared for the interview. But it's Google, it's just a Google Doc. So you just go to docs.google.com. So I'll just copy and paste that into the description as well. And you'll see this here. You'll have to have an account, but they're free. So just sign in and set up a blank document. I'm gonna click on this one and here it is. Now here's my blank document. And again, this is all free. I'm gonna now click on the tools here in the tools in the um, section up top there. And then one of the tools is voice typing. Click on voice typing. What happens here is it's going to translate what you say into text. So this is a great way to prepare for the interview because that way you can basically just go ahead and answer your question instead of typing in your response. Just, you know, translate it, what you say, and then put it into chat GPT. So here we go. What was the question again? The question was described when you had to, had to lead a team through a difficult change or transition. Now I'm going to answer this, but I'm not going to answer this perfectly because I want to show you how to, the grading system works. Yes. Uh, in fact, I've had many instances of this. One time when I worked at Walmart, uh, my team had to transition from a sales team to a production team. And what that meant is instead of having to sell and focus on just sales, now we had to focus on producing high quality leads. Now, what I did to help the team prepare for that is I basically, I did, I did up some training for them. I created a timetable for them. I explained to them the different ways, uh, the different um, uh, things they would be graded on for their production. And then one of the actions, one of the results that I got was we increased our production by 50%. And yeah, and actually sales went up too, because as your team is more productive and they focus on helping the customer versus uh, trying to get the sale at any cost, our team got more productive and we increased our revenue. And then I clicked off of that button. Now that's a total nonsense uh, re response. I mean, what the hell is increasing production versus 
uh, sales. Like it's 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 gobbledygook, but whatever. I'm going to copy and paste that in. So I just command, I just copy and pasted it, and then I'm going to put that in here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and hit enter. And then it's going to go ahead and look at that, and then it's going to give me a grade. Look at that, grade B minus. So it wasn't a great response because yeah, it obviously didn't make sense. But then it will break it down. When I worked at Walmart, blah blah blah. So that's the task. My task was to prepare the team to the change, to adjust to a new expectations. The action was to help them prepare, the result was, and then here's the here's the part that matters. Overall, your response covers the key elements of the STAR interview method, but it could be improved by providing more specific details about the situation, task, and actions that you took. Also, it's important to use specific examples to demonstrate your leadership skills and how you were able to help your team through a difficult transition. Additionally, it may be helpful to quantify the results of your actions, such as the exact percentage of the increased productivity and revenue. This is a great suggestion, a great response. This is all you need to do. Okay, I'll be like, great. Please provide me oops, with another question. So I'm just basically saying, hey, what's next? Enter. Here's the next one. Can you describe a time when you had to resolve a conflict between team members? Please provide your response to this question using the STAR method. By following this exact, like these prompts, and they're very basic, step by step, there's just a couple of steps, you are going to prepare for your interview, you're gonna get great feedback, and you're gonna get that dream job, guaranteed, using ChatGPT and me. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Be back soon.